Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to The Calling. So since last time I played the game, there's been a huge, huge update. And I, uh, before I jump into the game, I want to cover the update notes for you guys. But I'm not going to cover the entire update notes, because it's such a long list. And uh, the highlight section of the update notes wasn't really that great. Like, it didn't summarize the most important changes, so I made my own list. And I'm going to go over it real quick with you guys. Uh, these are major changes to the game, so it's important to know what's going on. So, Thick Skin Perk now protects against all ranged weapons, which includes thrown weapons. So that's like the best defense against Golden Arm, which is the perk that increases the damage and the speed of thrown weapons. Uh, green Top Crates no longer spawn impact grenades uh, or dynamites and have a reduced chance of spawning explosive mine and re reduce explosives. So it, instead, you're going to have, have like a slight chance of finding those explosives in uh, Blue Crates. And at, at a higher, even higher chance of finding them in red crates. Um, also, branches, rocks, and fists no longer uh, can backstab, can no longer apply bludgeon related wounds, and now only deal, all of them deal 5 to 15 damage. Um, also, the hits required to harvest branches and rocks are reduced by 35%, so it's gonna be faster extraction. Uh, cripple Wound has been broken into three intensities uh, that set a cripple target speed to a spe specified movement speed, regardless of buffs or perks. So it's just gonna, like, once you cripple someone, it doesn't matter if they have uh, uh, leg day or if they have, like, run with knives or anything like that. They're gonna just get crippled at a, at a specific rate of speed. Uh, tendon Cutter uh, and Crippler, which uh, cause a chance for uh, cripple when it comes to spears and blades, uh, they've been removed from the list, at least for now. We don't know if they're gonna get reworked or if they're gonna come back, but they're not on the list anymore. Uh, the bow perk stunner has now a 100% chance to cripple at the one, one wound intensity, meaning it should apply to all bows. Um, bludgeons and axes now deal cripple wounds of varying intensities. Weakness has been removed from the list. It's been replaced by cripple now, so uh, the bludgeon weapons no longer apply weakness, they only apply uh, cripple. Um, and when it comes to the stealthy perks and stealth in general, uh, stealthiness doesn't uh, provide quieter crafting anymore, It's that is applied to faster crafting. So faster crafting now not only increases your speed of crafting, but it also makes your crafting somewhat silent. Um, footsteps are are no longer barely audible when you have stealthy. Instead, if you're close by uh, to somebody else, they can actually hear your footsteps rather audibly. Um, and running through water is also not silent anymore if you have the stealth perk, um, regardless how sneaky you are. Uh, all of the weapon speeds have been increased. All weapons were rebalanced to uh, account for a greater difference in damage on faster and slower weapons. Uh, and as far as the visual elements for the game goes, uh, they've made some changes to the metal vents and lockers. Um, they're less contrasty. And now there's a unique shoved hit reaction animation. It looks significantly different from the shoved while blocking staggered animation. Um, and it should it should make the uh, block baiting tactic a little less effective, which I didn't even know existed. And they've also added custom animations for using funk recyclers. Uh, they added proper animations when walking or running with the man tracker, the alarm gun, and the blow gun. I don't know if you guys noticed, but even in the, in the last episode, you can tell that you know when you're holding the blow gun or when you're holding a man tracker, you're just like frozen. It's just like it's really it was unnatural. Unnatural. Um, and the last few things: the gas iris of the arena closing at specific times. That also has has uh, changed a little bit. It's been modified in a way that. Uh, the closing starts at 11 minutes instead of 10 minutes, uh, and it closes to a 6 meter radius at the last minute of the match. So in the last minute, uh, the circle in the center of the culmination is going to be left open for the last couple or few contestants to really battle it out. Because there was probably, there was um, actually a little uh, cheating kind of tactic that you could go into the poison and, and heal yourself. So I think this is to prevent that from happening. Um, and med stations are all toggled off when the second phase of the iris begins. So no more healing at the stations when the second phase is happening. And now 
Uh, also, the map closing can trigger when the match is down to five players, which is really cool. Also, the touch up and landscape paint uh, blended more dirt in and added some natural paths with dirt around the map and filled in some uh, large areas of rock by blending grass and dirt as well. And they also did some building art overhaul and that's about the update notes that I want to cover. And uh, with that covered and said, let's go to the game. Uh, I haven't played at all, but um, considering the changes to all the perks and everything, I modified my Punchy Punch build, so still gonna be a Knuckle Dragger, um, but I I used to have um, the um, submission to reduce the, the enemy's stamina so they're not running away, but now since all bludgeon weapons deal cripple damage, I no longer need to have that. Because they're just going to be crippled and they're, gonna, they're not going to run away from me. So instead I replace that with Leather Hide, which reduces all damage taken from ranged weapons, melee weapons, and all around by 25% while I'm holding a bludgeon weapon. Um, also, I was thinking that <clears throat> instead of having, uh, uh, what was it? The Because uh, I used to have, uh, where is it? In, in general defense... Or, I mean, yeah, general offense. If you look at it, I was thinking about adding old painless, but I think Basher would be a better substitute for that because if I can swing faster, then uh, I will be dealing more damage than if I was just adding the 10% extra damage. So, anyway, so let's jump into a game. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. The wait time is much more significant, so I'm going to pause the video and then. We're gonna, we're gonna come back when I'm in the game. So, see you soon. Alright guys, I'm about to uh, join a game. Where's my game? Here it is. Okay. So, also to keep in mind that with the recent changes, you are no longer protected by just having your fists. I mean, you are, but you're not gonna be doing a lot of damage barehanded. So, I'm just making it a knife real quick just to have something and I don't really care about winning this winning or losing uh, this is just a, just to check out how the game feels and how the game runs uh, it doesn't feel like they've optimized it any more than before but um, I also want to see just generally how the game feels with the recent changes well, someone's in there and I could go and just kill him and I will they're selling something. Nope. Come here. Oh, I see. Okay. Is that how you want to do it? Is that how you want to play it? Jesus. I was blocking. Oh my god. Well, that doesn't count. That was awful. <laughs> Look at this opportunist, dude! Alright, no, we're, we're leaving this. We're doing another one. Definitely. That one didn't count. So, here we go. Let's <laughs> try Alright, now we're in a new game. Let's hope that this goes better than the last one. It was not fun. Alright, I'm gonna make a knife again, because the bleeding is too good. And then... Let's head up there. I'm 
I'm sure I'm gonna run into someone here. This is really intense. Nice, use bludgeon weapon. So right now, two of my bludgeon we bludgeon perks actually apply already. <gasps> Ooh. Here's a better knife, so I can make him bleed as well. They're toilets now, with a chance of finding items in them. How cool is that? Rubber banding a little bit. A couple of people went after each other. One of them killed the other one with a knife. Or a blade, I should say. Nothing in the fridge. I hear someone. I got my knuckles. Welcome in. That was easy. Oh shit! Really? <laughs> really, dude? Is that what you put down? Oh my god, you fucking asshole. Your enemy just killed an opponent with an axe. I'm just selling this because I need to heal. I thought he, he's putting punji sticks or something down. And I thought he ran out of time. Like, I didn't think that he actually put anything down when I started hitting him. I thought, like, maybe it was cancelled. Now that I have my knuckles, I don't need to use my airdrop. So... Instead... What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open this blue crate in here. Sorry, I was trying to listen for footsteps. So stupid, they added a chance of finding items in toilets. And now you just have to check all the fucking toilets as well. So much blood over there, Jesus. I think he found a green item in here, right? Yep, which was the explosive, the claymore. I thought this was funk from afar. It looked like it was like a bunch of blood. All right. Well, we're gonna take the time to make armor for sure. Look how fast I'm slicing! Oh my god! And look how fast I'm extracting wood! Wow. This is that's just it's just wild. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight anyone. Anyone or anything. An enemy just threw a they could add like tigers to the game, else. like random things. Like beehives, maybe? Like if you kick the hornet's nest accidentally, they like you get stunned or like bees come after you and poison you or I don't know. Your enemy just threw a knife and killed someone else. Or maybe like a you get chased by a puma. Or black bear comes after you, tries to maul your face off. This stuff would be cool too.
Hi. Wait, where are you going? Wait for me. Oh, really? Oh my god, are you serious? Feel free to share the content with other contestants. Get out there and grab my package. Good luck. Oh my god. People are just like This guy's really good at blocking. And swishing. Someone is butchering other contestants. Oh, I see. This guy's like got the meta down. What? Excuse me? Yeah, yeah. Don't underestimate me, bitch. I know how to fight, too. Well, maybe. Maybe. I used to be much better at it. Oh god. Well, I mean, I just wanted to cover the update notes and play a game, but whatever, I died. It's okay, but thanks for anyways, guys. Um, I'm gonna stop the episode here. We got our asses handed to us. I don't care. <laughs> I just wanted to check out the game. Um, the changes are cool. I really like the faster craft, not the faster crafting, but like the faster extraction. I like that the, the weapons are generally faster at swinging. Um, but um, as far as the other things go, I don't know about the perk changes much because so many people had such like crazy builds around like the different bonuses from the perks. But like I really liked weakness from, from Bludgeon, being able to make the enemy deal less damage. Um, but you know. It's it. This build also comes with its uh, disadvantages and and downfalls. Just wanting to use the the knuckles so much. But anyway, um, that guy was really good at fighting. That guy, the last guy. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the the episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for your time and attention. Bye.